Okay. We all have certain signs that we don't really care for, you know? Um, and some, some people even just go by the whole element, you know? Some people say, oh, I hate water signs, or I stay away from air signs, or I can't stand Virgos, or Scorpios get on my nerves, you know? I will never date another Aries. You hear this kind of shit all the time, and... I'm not saying that I disagree with these claims at all, because, you know, every sign has very specific uh, traits and influences that can put very specific staples <laughs> on a person's personality. But I'll tell you one thing that I've learned on my journey. Um, because actually, to be honest with you, the very first sign that drove me into insanity was cancer. That was the very first one, dude. That was the one that, that drove me to obsess over an astrological energy. Like I literally spent no less than three years of my life obsessing over Anybody who had the slightest cancer influence in their chart, <clears throat> sun or moon, if I find out you're a cancer sun or moon, I'm watching every little move you make and studying you just to study you, just to understand how you function and operate. And that's it, you know, and through my journey, I've had a few different signs that uh, I've had struggles with. And one thing that I've learned is that these things that we bitch and complain about when it comes to the signs and their energies and whatnot are the shadow side of that energy. You know that there's a shadow side and a light side of every energy, all the way from Aries to Pisces. There's a shadow side and a light side. And it just so happens that a lot of us tend to attract people who are stuck in their shadow. Well, like vibration attracts like vibration. So I would be asking myself, how am I attracting these people? Because that's, that's honestly, that's what I've been doing for about the past three years now. Um, the sign that I have been having the most struggles with is Gemini. That's the sign I've struggled with the most. And it bothers me for many reasons. <clears throat> Mainly, my youngest daughter is a Gemini. Okay? Sun and moon. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Uh, there's at least three of my favorite internet public figures that I like to listen to and watch who are Geminis. And... So it's bothered me. How come every Gemini I attract into my life has this issue where they open up their mouth and bullshit comes out? Everyone that I've attracted into my life. Now, I know that at the end of the day, that's my responsibility for attracting those people into my life. And you know what I ended up learning on my journey? <clears throat> What I ended up learning was a low vibrational Gemini. When you're dealing with a low vibrational Gemini, you're only talking to one twin at a time. You know, Gemini is the twins, right? You're only talking to one twin at a time. A low vibrational Gemini doesn't have their twins on the same team working together. <clears throat> so when you're talking to them, you're talking to one twin. Then when they walk away from you and go talk to this person over here, they're talking to the other twin. That's the reason why, you know, when you're talking to a low vibrational Gemini, it's like, oh, you love basketball? I love basketball too. Oh, you hate baseball? I hate baseball too. Then they go over here and talk to this person and it's like, oh, you hate basketball? Fuck, I hate basketball too. You love baseball? Fuck, I love baseball too. And it's like, whoa, 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 hold up. What the fuck? Who are you lying to? Are you lying to me or are you lying to them? Or are you just blowing smoke up of both of our asses? Are you just arbitrarily regurgitating random fucking thought vomit that means nothing at all? 
just to make us smile. Like, what, what's going on here? I've learned that's a low vibrational Gemini. A high vibrational Gemini, when you talk to them, you're getting both twins at the same time. Both twins are on the same team. You see what I'm saying? And this goes all across the board. Every sign of the Zodiac. Aries? Like, what's one of the negative staples that comes along with an Aries? Bad temper. Real quick temper. Fly off the handle. Fire the gun first. Ask questions later. Jump to conclusions. You know, very unpredictable and sporadic like a loose cannon. You know, very selfish and self-centered. Right, yes. That's a low vibrational Aries. Okay? Every single sign has a shadow side and a light side. So if there's a sign that you're struggling with, I would ask myself, how am I attracting this low vibrational person? What part of me needs to be healed or needs attention that is attracting that low vibrational energy into my life? Now, now, this doesn't go for those of you who had one bad experience with one person of a particular sign. That, that's, that's one of my biggest pet peeves, man, you know, where you see somebody who, I don't know, they, they dated a fucking Sagittarius one time. They dated one Sagittarius and had a bad experience, and they say, ah, oh, I hate Saggies. I can't stand Sagittarius. I'll never date another Sagittarius because you had one bad experience with one. Come on now. Come on now. See, these energies are nothing but influences. That's all they are. So you could say that if you met a Libra sun, okay, that's just one little energetic influence in the energy cocktail that this person was born into. You know, it's kind of like, kind of like any other substance, like, like take alcohol, for example, <clears throat> you could take two different people and give them both a six pack of beer, All right? Is that going to make both of those people turn into the exact same person? No, but you can tell by looking at them that they're both under the influence of the same substance, the same chemical. Similarly, that may be a goofy analogy, but that's the best way that I can think to describe when you have two people that you have met who are both, I don't know, Capricorn, both of those people were just born under the influence of the same energy. That doesn't mean they're going to be the exact same person, right? You give one person a six pack of beer and they flip out and start breaking stuff and starting fights and arguments and shit. And then the other person drinks a six pack of beer and they're, they're relaxed and cool and chilled, you know, same thing, same thing. So again, Astrological signs and energies and whatnot are just influences. That's all they are. So if you keep attracting the same shadow side of a certain sign into your life, like me for the longest time, I kept attracting shadow Geminis into my life for years. And at the end of the day, I got to stop and ask myself, well, I'm the one that's attracting them. They're finding their way into my life somehow. And when I say attraction... I mean what actually comes into your physical life, okay? I'm not saying who you deal with on the internet or, you know, who you watch on YouTube. I'm talking about what you actually attract into your real life. That's attraction. So if you keep running into low vibrational cancers or low vibrational Leos or low vibrational Aquarians, ask yourself, what about my vibration is attracting this into my life? And what is it I need to learn to overcome that? And I know quite a few people needed to hear that. So think about that for a little bit. Think about that and rethink your life a little bit. All right? All right, that's all I got for today. I'm gonna get out of here. Y'all have a good one.